in a world where let's say the devil was just bound up the entire time, not able to tempt us, would humanity have been pretty much just as sinful all throughout history, probably just because of our own temptations to treat each other wrong and be prideful and egotistical and envious? Is it, or is it, you know what I'm saying? Would we have, would we have made a, a holy hell mess of everything we've had in our, in our, in our, in our history, if we didn't have that extra push to evil? Or do you think that's a big factor in everything that, that we see around us in terms of the sin? I think it's the big factor mm-hmm. because, you know, before the fall, Adam and Eve lived in this perfect state of grace mm-hmm. and it was something external. So the, the desire to rebel against God was planted in them by the serpent in the garden. Again, the temptation to turn away from God. And the devil tries to do that all the time to get us to turn away from God and to choose the evil. And again, as I just said, he wants to present the evil as something good. You know, the serpent even says to Eve, did God really tell you not to eat of that fruit? And, you know, he says, you certainly will not die. You will become like gods. But he's a liar because, again, what was the consequence of original sin? Death entered into the world. So prior to all of that, humans lived in perfect harmony with God. And again, I think that's our goal through life is to be able to reject sin, whether it's personal or whether it's something that's coming from the devil, so that one day we can arrive into heaven and be in that perfect state of grace with God for all eternity. And that death anxiety does seem to underpin so much of the wickedness that we engage in around the world, that feeling of there's a finite existence I have. My clock's ticking. It's an unconscious feeling, and that's why I cut people off in traffic, or that's why I, I'm greedy in my business practices. That's why I'm egotistical in relationships, right? It's that there's the unconscious kind of, you know, you know, if you want to use Darwinian terms, a survival of the fittest kind of mindset that's driving us to always have to have this kind of tension of like, well, I've got to get mine before it's, you know, before my time is ended. And I think a lot of Christians live like that. Even, you know, they, they partition the spiritual world with their everyday mundane world, right? They say, well, I'll be a Christian on the, on the days I go to church. uh, And then when I'm out in the world, I'm a ruthless capitalist and I'm just taking advantage of employees and working them to death. And, and, you know, because it doesn't matter because that's my safe little private sector world. I can do that. And, and that's okay. But ultimately that, like you mentioned, that, that introduction of death drives a lot of the sin that we engage in, doesn't it? It does. You know, if you think about it, God is all about existence. I mean, what's the name of God that we learn from the Bible? I am. So God is existence. And the Mm -hmm. devil is all about non-existence, death and destruction. And God is really all about life and community. 